What's up everyone? Welcome to the M-W Tactical Channel. My name is Michael Woodland and today we're going to talk about the Walther Arms PPQ M2 handgun. For those who follow me, you know that I am on a quest to advance in the world of competition shooting with my Walther Q5 match. Today we're not going to talk about competition shooting, but more along the lines of what I selected to be my everyday carry, or EDC, with the Walther Arms PPQ M2. We're going to begin with how the PPQ is presented in the carry case. The box is something that you can use for many years to come. But unlike other manufacturers who present your firearm in a cardboard box or a cheap plastic box, Walther presents you the carrying case where it can be used when you check your firearm when flying. Yes, this box comes with levers where you can slide them left to right and place a lock on it as well. Before you ask, yes, it is TSA approved. Making our way to the inside of the carrying case, it is lined with foam that gives you the presentation of a custom carrying case where everything that comes with your handgun has a place to sit in the cutout foam. The PP2 comes with the required DOJ lock, red chamber flag, two 15 round magazines, a magazine loader, two extra back straps, initial target paper, instructional manual, and the Walther PPQ M2. The two extra backstraps come in small and large since the medium backstrap is already on the handgun. The PPQ M2 stands out and gives me the same feel as my Q5 match, so there is no different feel I have to get used to. Operation of the handgun is on par and does not take away from the interaction just like the Q5 match. In my mind, I will consider this to be my Q2.5 since it is a smaller version. Hmm. My use for the PPQ M2, outside of doing various training and just shooting, will be more for when I conceal carry. Dependability and functionality is what you look for when you conceal carry, and Walther is that brand that I can stand behind and know it will perform when needed. Let's start off with the hand grip and work our way around the firearm. Their grip is made with a non-slip, cross-directional pattern that will provide comfort and ease with controlling. It truly feels comfortable in my hands. I am big on getting stippling work done to my grips, but will hold off for some time and run the PPQ in its original state before making any changes to it. Moving up to the slide stop, it is an ambidextrous slide stop that is long enough to eliminate the need to search for a small tab or indent. For those who like to use gloves while shooting, this slide stop was designed for you. For those of us who don't, there is no way you will miss the slide stop in training or when it counts. There are slide serrations on the rear and on the front on both the left and right side. The front serrations can be used to assist with pulling the slide to the rear, but the rear serrations are more designed with a deep channel cut that will assist even with wet hands when charging the slide to the rear. The sights that come on this handgun are a three-dot polymer low-profile setup that is adjustable for windage. When adjusting the windage, it moves two centimeters at 25 yards. Making our way down to the Picatinny rail, it has what looks to be two and a half rails for the use of accessories that can accommodate a light source or an attachment that can assist with dry fire practice. Like the Q5, the PPQ M2 has a red indicator to show when the handgun is loaded. On the right side of the serration cuts, on the rear end of the ejector, is where this indicator is located. Now, the trigger is advertised to be the best on the market from the factory. From what I gathered from other handguns, this claim seems to be true. The trigger will start its travel with 5.6 pounds of pressure with a reset that comes in at 0.1 inch, one tenth of an inch, to allow for a faster follow-on shot. They did say the best on the market, right? Hmm. Are you ready to place your order yet? It gets better. Even though this handgun does not come with the physical safety, it does have three internal safeties overall. A firing pin block for safe carry, a drop safety, and 
the trigger safety. If you are one who likes to use technical data, let me try this for you. The PPQ I own comes in at 9mm with a barrel length of 4 inches, a trigger pull at 5.6 pounds, comes with two magazines that house 15 rounds, overall length of 7.1 inches, height is 5.3 inches with a 1.3 inch width with three auto safeties and come in with an empty weight of 24.5 ounces. Whew. Now, the deal gets even better. Walther has two programs that kicked off on February 15th. The deal is so impressive, it's a win-win for everyone. The program is called the Shoot It, Love It, Buy It program, and you can check it out by going to waltherarms.com. These guys are really standing behind their product, and I like that. If you are looking for a quality handgun that you can use for everyday carry, then the Walther Arms PPQ M2 can be the answer for you. My search shows that some places online are selling the PPQ for as low as $449. Not bad if you ask me. For those who are looking to contact me, visit m-wtactical.com, but make sure you go to our Instagram and Facebook and search for m-wtactical to find our page so you can follow us there also. If you decide to give me a call at 803-250-1256 and I do not answer, please leave a voicemail or a text message, and I promise I will get back to you. Until next time. Keep shooting, keep practicing, and have fun.